Coming at number 10 we have Honey Bear. This manhwa is about Moon Jianwu, a 21-year-old guy who has a good built-in figure, but has no experience in any kind of relationship, and the only girl who he bring in his house is his best friend. One time when he was walking his dog who led him to a street that he never been, he saw a construction on the street and saw how a guy almost got hit by the woods, and his honest reaction was to save the guy, and because of his great built and strong muscles, he saved him and got asked to stop by the cafe when it's been built, he saw how beautiful the owner is and stopped by the cafe when the construction is done, and he saw a poster saying that the cafe is short staff, and that's when he decide to apply for the position and get close to his boss. This manhwa is really fun to read, it has the flow that really made you look for another chapter from one to another, also the art style is really amazing, it's the type of art style that I personally like that why I really like this manhwa. At number 9 we have Ideal Type but KK Hyundai. This manhwa is about Hansel Lee, a person who saw a really good looking and his absolute type professor when he visit his friend's university, and when he saw Professor Min Jun, he knew exactly that he need to transfer school in other to be close with him, and when he started chasing this old man, he changed a lot of things for him to like him, he changed his trademark hair color, his style and even his major just so he would be with him, but the professor just keep on making his college life miserable, and when he decided to confront him, he goes to his house and asks the reason behind all the things that keeping on him to be a good buddy with him, with a drunk mind, Hansel Lee slept in his professor house and when he woke up, the atmosphere between them suddenly disappear and the professor said that he'll take responsibility on what happened with them, and that when out Hansel Lee story begins, this manhwa is really me, the idea of switching major for a guy is really how my life works right now, and maybe that the reason why I love this manhwa so much, also the visual and art style of the manhwa is really clean and fresh, I highly recommend this manhwa. At number 8 we have dedicated to the arrogant you. This manhwa is about Beck Aui Jian, a famous pianist who is known as the most hottest person every time he goes into the club, and one time when he wanted to party all night and has some fun, he suddenly saw a really soft looking and beautiful guy on the other part of the club, and when he prepared himself to ask him for a drink, this guy suddenly disappeared that made him mad, but his night didn't stop there, though he's still thinking about that guy and how it would look like spending a night with him, morning comes, he goes to his first subject of the day and saw the gut that ditch him at the club, turn out, this guy is one of the top student in their university who is also knows as a playboy, but that humor is not actually true at all, and when Beck Jian tried to hit him up, he just get turned down without a second thought, this manhwa is also one of my favorite manhwa this year, but the only downside of this manhwa is the chapters, like come on man, give us all that chapter up into your sleeve, I wanted to finish reading it so bad. At number 7 we have Into the Horizon, this manhwa is about Hanju, when he comes back from his school he saw a really unfamiliar faces inside their house, thinking that maybe they are just a guest, he let this slide, and when his father told him that he found a new wife and they are going to live into their house, he can't do anything, and the worst part here is he suddenly had an older brother who's gonna share a room with him, at first he's really okay with him being in the same room in school, but things got out of hands when he feels something about his stepbrother who act really weirdly around him, he actually really don't mind any of it because he has someone beside him who's also possessive around him, this manhwa is a nutshell you guys, it has two possessive male lead, not just one but two, you can already tell how much our uke is about to get from this two male lead, but overall the manhwa is really great, it give that vibe that it portrait and also the art style are super b, really great manhwa so far. At number 6 we have Profundis, this manhwa Beck Yujin, a person who lost his family into a calamity after a war between humanity and monster arise, the only person who was left with him is his sick brother who can't be cured by all means, not knowing that Beck Yunjin himself is an S-class healer but the way he heals a person's wood is in a different ways, back when Beck Yujin is about to die because of a monster that attack him and his brother, an S-class hero came and save him, Wu Xin Ji, is an S-class hunter who appeared just in time to save his life, and when he saw how Beck Yujin has a potential to become a guide, who is known as the healer of the hunters, he recruited him be his personal guide, and the time he accept the offer is the time his started to become more miserable and painful, this manhwa is kinda scary for me to read, also the idea of their relationship is kinda weird, because they really treat him as an employee and not as commander. At number 5 we have Rainbow City, this manhwa is about Sok Wah, 
the chief researcher living in seclusion on Jeju Island and he is being escorted back to Seoul to help continue the research about developing a vaccine that will be an endeavor to go against the Adam virus. In the late spring of 2000, an epidemic broke out in a small European city, summer of the same year, infectious disease rapidly spread throughout Europe and other continents, including Asia, and in the late summer of the same year, a vaccine was developed but the virus mutated for some reason. Because of this a state emergency was declared all over the whole world under the mission to preserve mankind and nations to be united, leaving only three nations existing as of today, and the only person who knows about the vaccine that that was mutated is Sok Wa. This manhwa is great for what it is. The plot and idea is really entertaining and engaging to read. It kinda bored me in some chapters, but the whole story really gives you the idea of what might happen if it was in real life. At number 4 we have the Alpha Circumstances. This manhwa is about Alpha Lim Jae Hee, who has been dating Beta Lee Yo Woon for over two years, whom he has been dating since the third year of high school. He considers his own love for the Beta unswayed by his pheromones to be pure and flawless. He is so happy that he goes on a date as usual, but then meets an Omega, who is suddenly hit by a heat cycle on the bus back home, and is the true Alpha of this era. He decided to help that Omega, he bring the Omega into a hotel that he could stay during his heat cycle. BYT when the pheromones suddenly act aggressive, he got no choice but to have a night with him, and when he woke up, he saw a money beside his bed that pissed him off the most, and with the help of fate, they meet again as a professor and student, and the most fun part here is that he become the student research under his professor, so he got no choice but to work with him and forget what happened, and in his thought, what happened doesn't affect his love to his beta. This manhwa is really funny and fun to read. Knowing that we get to see a love triangle between Alpha, Beta and Omega, I am really hoping for a great future in this manhwa. At number 3 we have Anemone Theater. This manhwa is about Sung Ho. A person who has a pushy father expects him to do nothing but study, so day in and out Sung Ga buries himself in his books, oblivious to all the exciting new things happening in town. But there's one thing that's been distracting him though, and that is these unidentifiable migraines that just won't go away. No matter how many meds Sunga takes, it just keep on coming back. One day, after a particularly painful headache, he finds himself with a stranger not knowing what was he doing. Horrified and appalled by his transgression, Sung Ho immediately tries to erase that unfortunate happening from his memory, but the fate make a way for them to meet in every way. So when Sung Ho think of a plan to make his connection with his cut off, he did his best to do so, but he ended up with him again. This manhwa has a really realistic plot, it give you the sight of how to live as a person who get pushed to things that he don't want by his parents. At number 2 we have Can I Move In. This manhwa is about Jae Yoon Choi. A person who's looking for a place to live in but instead, he gets a lover and place like a buy one take one sale in the store. This happens when Jae Yoon asks his new colleague if he could be his roommate for some time while he's looking for a permanent place to live in. Yun Hyuk on the other hands don't really care and just let him in but in one condition, and that is to sleep with him. Jae Yoon has a second thought on accepting the offer, but the eagerness to find a place in much more powerful, so he accept the offer and live with him, not knowing that this person is living in the most expensive hotels in the city. This manhwa is really fun. We get to see a really cute little uke in a buff scene who's a undercover rich heir. At number 1 we have my egocentric boss is obsessed with me. This manhwa is for the chronically single and overworked Suhan. Thirsting over his boss's firm body is his greatest guilty pleasure in life as employee. It's sad and pathetic but after a long string of lousy exes and an even longer dry spell, the handsome and talented Mr. Wu seems just that much hotter for him. Even though he knew that Mr. Wu comes with blazing red flags like his egocentric personality, his bizarre preferences and his sadistic tendency to overwork his employees, but he still want him, and the really fun part here, is that Mr. Wu addressed him as babe outside the office. He also treat him as if they have something between them, and while Mr. Wu is only doing that outside the office, another male lead is taking his part inside the company. This manhwa is super B. Fun to think that love triangle is so overrated, but this one extend the expectation when you read a love triangle manhwa. And that's all for today recommendation. I hope you guys find a manhwa that caught your interest. If you have any recommendations of manhwa for me to read or to put on my next video, Please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, thank you and keep safe.